today's hip man embrace its academic and professional reputation that has trained over 15,000 professionals in 10 years. Embrace Hitmat's numerous professional programs from HND to BTEC, BSc, and MBA in the schools of Business and Management Sciences, Engineering and Technology, and the School of Transport and Logistics. Embrace Hitmat's professionalism, excellence, and consistency with solid mentorship from the University of Bamenda and the University of Boya. Embrace it marks skills, development, expertise, and career orientation via workshops and academic field trips. Be part of the Hitmat family. Visit our Boya Campus at Checkpoint Moliko and Duara Campus at Karofu Yoro. Joss Bonamusali. Contact 683-70-1720. The Higher Institute of Business Management and Technology. The University Institute for Professionals. Good evening, TV viewers. You welcome to this other edition of uh, Prime uh, on My Media Prime. Today is Tuesday, so we are going to be talking relationship and uh, marriage. But this time around, we are going to be looking at a phenomenon that has been trending on social media, where um, audios of some girls that are discussing on how they use uh, charm juju with a name called Kenyamata to get um, men to love and go out with them with the aim of uh, making these men to provide them with whatever they demand for, especially uh, financial wise. Uh, some are using it to get uh, the biggest uh, jobs out there. We are going to be discussing this to find out whether it can help to actually procure you a sustainable relationship or marriage and uh, in the case that uh, you are you are seen or discovered to be under that spell how do you control and possibly get out of it we are discussing that with our regular panelists who are already seated uh, in the studio with us two of them are here apostle and B. valentine guys our permanent consultant who is in the house with us uh, good evening welcome Good evening, Mr. Leo. Good evening, my co-panelists. Good evening, Cameroonians and viewers of Prime Hour. It's another Tuesday again for Relationship Matters. We are going to be dissecting this very complicated, complex, but a reality as a topic in our, in our discourse for today. God will help us to help those who have been caught up in this mess. we we'll call it mess. Okay. We also are in the company of uh, Madame Fortinglet. Uh, Henrietta Ngui, she is an expert in the domain of relationship and uh, marriage. Uh, good evening, welcome. Good evening, Mr. Leo. Good evening, Apostle, and to all our televiewers, good evening. Uh, happy feast to our Muslim viewers. It's always a great time being here. Just stay tuned as we discuss this very pertinent topic. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We also are in the company of Apostle Lefo or Divine. They call him the love uh, doctor. We are going to be talking about, is it, they usually call this, uh, it's love potion, no? Cham, it's called love potion. So the love doctor is going to be telling us more about the love potion. Good evening, welcome. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu, and good evening, uh, viewers of My Major Prime. It's an honor, and we are excited to share this uh, very important and trending topic um, this time, and we are glad to have... Um, wonderful minds to share and I greet my panelists as well and we can assure you that it's going to be a wonderful time. Okay, we also are going to be having contributions from Bermuda, Northwest Regional Capital through uh, Madame Asanji Yvette who is an expert on issues of, on issues of marriage and uh, relationship counseling. We are starting with you, um, Apostle Ambi Valentine Ngoa. Um, <clears throat> difficult to believe that these things do exist, eh? Yes, uh, it's just because it has come up so strong this time around. These are things that have existed for so many years. Uh, we've come across many situations. I, for one, had a practical experience with this when I was in the southwest. Uh, a certain neighbor charmed a man who was working uh, with the seaport here in Douala. He abandoned his family of six children and a wife, came down there, built a house, and practically the man was like a slave to this woman and built a house for this woman, did everything, and then was living there and abandoned his family. So it's not strange, but uh, it has gone, how do I put it, digital these days. It has become very viral, and that's the reason why we have come to address it. 
Kanyamata is just the name they have called that particular one that is circulating and trending on social media and other things. There are many other charms that women use for to keep relationships. But the truth is, from experience gathered, these things have never for once helped to the end. They may give you a temporal pleasure, a temporal satisfaction, but they always have very grave consequences. The case I spoke about, a woman died shamefully in a very disgraceful manner and at the end of the day the man's family came back and they recovered the man from the mess that the woman trapped the the man into so we the reasons why these things occur one is because we live in a microwave generation a time whereby we used to boil beans for one hour 30 minutes this time around microwave we boil beans for 50 minutes we have a rushing generation where girls are not patient enough anymore to stay with men and be relationships. Most of the billionaires we see today on earth are people who got married as very poor people. Women were willing to accept them at that stage of their lives and then build a family with them. But we live in a generation where girls are very, very, very impatient and they want to succeed by all costs. They are looking for every means possible to make it in life and uh, they don't have the patience to begin life with young people and then build a family. They just want everything to happen at a blow. And uh, the audio circulating all over, the thing is attached to money. Relationships are no longer built on love, family planning, and building a society anymore. It's now tied to what you're going to make out of relationships. So it's more of a business than building a relationship. People are looking for means to generate income. And most people are victims to such things are people who are financially viable because Kanyamata will not be used to trap a poor man they don't use it for poor people. So those people who are jumping also from one woman to another, you can be entrapped in this in this in this very delicate weapon used by the enemy these last days. And I'm sure as the program is going, we are going to be dissecting a lot of things and testimonies and other circumstances that are ruin a lot of families because these things are practically used to target people who are already established in families. They already have their children, they have money. It will be difficult sometimes for them to go and trap a young boy who has nothing to feed himself. And you want to see the families tomorrow, they are scattered. There's a hybrid of divorce. You see a man just get out and doesn't want a woman anymore. You don't have any reason why the man is taking such a decision. But something underneath beyond the five senses is operating. So we're going to be talking on how also to deal with this thing because all those things are charms that have temporary effects. The effect on, on people who are trapped by those things can be cast out by prayers because there are demonic forces that only have a particular time to operate and they are limited in their power. And also we're going to talk about the consequences on this thing as far as the ladies who are using it are concerned. Most of the people will tell you how to use it and get the benefits out of it. But they will never tell you the consequences because the devil will give you something with the right hand and he will collect it with the left hand. Okay. Uh, Apostle Lefo, uh, divine, how do we believe because i used to get these things uh, as stories um i listened to maybe my sisters or brothers speak about this yes. it's true yes yes um it's it's it has just had a a, a great brand name as uh, kayamata mm -hmm. that's that's just the popular uh brand name for mm -hmm. now uh but i would like to say that um, there is so many stories okay truly we have heard so many stories and we have seen but i will stand on one thing even the bible says charm is deceitful charm is deceitful i would like to say that most of times uh, some of these things are a a function they prey on people's uh, desperation the truth is this thing has revealed how desperate how desperate we are in these days it's it's really sometimes it's really heartbreaking to see how how will how, how how much people are willing to go just to secure or keep a relationship and we're going to be diving much into that but i also want to say that there is also no much call for alarm because sometimes some of these things even the people who have supplied some of these things have also preyed on the desperation of the people trying to buy because a fear has gone out and sometimes People are so worked up. I would like to take this opportunity to read something, the definition of the word aphrodisiac. Mm -hmm. Because some of these things are simply aphrodisiacs that have come into play. And an aphrodisiac is a substance that increases sexual desire, sexual attraction, sexual pleasure, or sexual behavior. And these substances range from a variety of plants, spices, foods, and synthetic chemicals. I think Kayamata is our local brand.
brewery also of uh, aphrodisiacs and sometimes when this thing comes in and boosts maybe the girl's confidence and some other factors which i'll mention later it changes a lot of things and that's why sometimes people be like there's more attraction you hear some people i i, I listened to one <laughs> to one voicemail to the lady who was selling it in fact somebody was giving me i, I was talking to one of um a friend of mine and she was telling me about how someone was trying to sell her kind of this was oh, months ago before this thing even began to trend she sent me the voice to and the lady was like oh when you do this your husband will not want to sleep with another person and all of those kind of things so and then there is also the enchantment in 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 the in those things there are there are there are things that have power due to enchantments due to incantations and all of that which uh changes a lot of things so i believe many people have been affected by this one way or the other we're going to look at the reality of it and we're going to see that a lot of our belief systems and in fact even the person involved uh everybody there's no need for alarm but we need to really be be careful nowadays with the way we approach these things so truly there have been stories and like you said mr leo these things have been going on and it, it did not start today it did not start today and i don't think it will stop it will, it will stop to, <laughs> tomorrow okay, we just you, need to address it we just need to address it um yes. madame for tingley what's happening to you people <laughs> Mr. Leo, that's a very tricky one. Mm. What's happening to us? Like, mm. what's happening to the women? What's Those happening? soldiers now. <laughs> we got the women now. Were the men discussing it? To be very factual, Mr. Leo, it's a disturbing situation. It's actually disturbing. Ah. I think... Um, it's scary, yeah? Yeah, it's scary. And extremely disturbing for, the few, for some few months. Um... Curiously, somebody like me, it's not even up to two months that I got to know about the Kiamata thing and the way it's it's spreading. Yes. No more than I read that in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a trending story. You know, it's trending. And then um, I decided to, to make a, a study to go, let me really find out what's the origin of this whole thing and what is it all about, these young girls falling into the whole thing and even getting married women involved. You know, women are... The kind of audios and videos we see out there it's i feel we just i fear for the men out there my you. god should really because take control. when when you listen to that audio some some a, a girl will say that you don't even need to charge you <laughs> they put three in one but you just look at how you are gone <laughs> that's the truth and you see that the only victims to this thing are the men mm. the only victims are the men so it it's uh when I tried to trace back, ah, like, what, what's this Kayamata thing? Just like the other panelists have said, it's a charm, just like any other charm, mm -hmm. which originated maybe from the Muslim side of the world, mm -hmm. from the north. And uh, I, I got to understand that usually in the Muslim culture, when a young lady, a newly wedded bride, has to go into marriage, uh, these concoctions, these herbs that they used to put together, the family of the bride mm -hmm. would prepare and put together and give the bride to get into marriage with it that was like a sex enhancer something that would permit her to be able to satisfy her husband in bed and all of that uh, but uh, unfortunately maybe it has been working for them for some years or for some time i don't know how since when it started but these days the devil has decided to use it in a more broader scale to develop it and make it more look to look more more modern mm. and all women are falling for it you know just like apostle said um proverb 31 verse 30 say beauty is vain you say charm is deceitful but a woman that fears the lord as women have not come to the understanding of what charm is all about mm. the real definition of the charm of a woman there is a natural charm in each woman so what the devil is trying to do out there to capture the hearts of women and destroy them because at the end of the day it's only the road to destruction there is no good that will ever come out from it there is no good that can ever come out from it it's only and i was like could this be another strategy the enemy is trying to use to to destroy women because when i look at these young girls the, the audio we are talking about about the boya lady hmm. when i started listening to that audio i thought they were big girls i thought they were grown-up ladies uh -uh. Curiously, I, I heard one talking about GC. even GCE. Yeah, but there's another one that's circulating from Douala here, where he's even citing the names of some persons that are... Uh, hmm. Yeah, so when I look at that, as young as she is, how many destinies are going to be destroyed in this whole thing? You know, there are young girls coming up, young girls from whose loins God, whose wombs God has to bring forth, generals, presidents, and all of that. And but the enemy wants to use, pass through some charm thing to just destroy them because at the end of the day is death 
Three days ago, I saw if uh, I saw something on Facebook. A young lady, what are they called? How are they? Princess or something in Kumba? They showed her, and then they showed her course. She actually failed to one of the rules, and then she had, she died. And that's it's 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 just a matter of time. Eh? It's, it's alleged. alleged. Eh? That story is alleged. Well, whatever. But I think it's a matter of time. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of time. The way the thing is going right now, it's just a matter of time. And then we'll see. We we'll start seeing ladies running after the run, running around the streets naked because of the effects of Kayamata. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's just a matter of time. I think as we, we, we continue, we'll get to see. Okay, let's get the first reaction of uh, Miss uh, <laughs> Yvette from, from Bermenda. Hello, good evening, Mr. Leo. Good evening to the wonderful apostles on board. My co-woman, Madame Herrieta, hello to you and Mr. Sule, who is new, joining us today for the first time. Good evening. Mr. Liu, it, it, really, it, it really breaks my heart to hear of Kayamata. I don't know what is happening. I don't know what, is, what has gone wrong with women. I don't know why ladies have allowed themselves to be used as vessels in the hands of the devil. Where did it start? Kayamata, this wristband, a waist beat, the, the, the beats that have an evil eye, a, a perfume spray. And so the devil knows that women like these kind of things, and so the devil used it as a medium to conquer the world. And it so touched my heart that a lot of women, a lot of ladies are, are so excited about the thing. They tell you it's working, it's giving testimonies. Yes, it's true. It can work. But for how long? For how long? Before even going into using it, have you ever thought of the consequences? I'm talking to those ladies that are using Kayamata. Or to those ladies that are still planning to go and get Kayamata. Do you even sit down and think of the consequences of what you're going in for? Because that's, yeah, they only tell you the good side of it. They tell you the good side of it. It, it works, it attracts men, it, gives, it, it, it keeps men, uh, you have all kinds of names. Uh, uh, um, what, what, something sweetener, I don't even want to call the name. Yes, that sweetener sweetens when a man sleeps with you, he's crazy and he's calling you all the time, he wants more of it. Have you ever thought of the consequences of such things? Vagina, of, a, a cancer of the vagina, I don't even want to talk about that. I've seen young ladies grow mad. And all their actions is showing something sex, sex. And this is, I think this, this can better explain some of those things. When those women run mad, you see they, they are only talking about sex, they sex, that. You can see that this is where, this is the roots of it all. Women have lost it. And a lot of women are excited. I just want to call my fellow women to be careful because the consequences of it is inevitable. Anything that comes from the kingdom of darkness cannot give you anything better. Apostle and be Valentine Gua. Um, as we, we are talking about condemning uh, women, girls, many people are already living under the influence of this old apostle. Many persons, as we are speaking, of because those, those girls who are, were giving testimonies, they're giving testimonies of their actions now. Of course now. <laughs> like I said earlier, Mr. Leo, this thing is just trending now. It has been there a long. It mm. has been there for a very long time. And uh, the truth is, people will hardly understand the consequences of something that comes first with the benefit. Yeah. They will not want to see the consequences, no matter how much we preach or we make noise. As a matter of fact, people have done things that have killed them. People have driven cars. Cars have killed them. That does not stop people from learning driving. People are still driving. Pilots have flown aircraft and they have crashed and died. People are still going to <laughs> the airport. They are still going to this piloting school to go and study aviation academy to study. So the truth is whether we try to fight it or try to preach against it, what are the reasons why these girls go into this kind of nonsense? That is mm. the, the, what we're supposed to be dealing here now. Mm. To me, uh, first, what will cause a lady to start thinking that 
uh, a man is a means of livelihood. A man could probably be a source of income, not her potential, not her skill, not her intelligence. It could be the economic situation of the country. Most of our young girls, some of them are desperate. When they drop out of school, there is no job. Their bodies become an industry. Their bodies now become a factory where they use, they use it to generate income. And sometimes when they go out into the world to start circulating, they don't feel comfortable with what men give them. And sometimes some people also are maltreated by men. They do it as a sign of revenge. I've seen ladies who have contacted HIV and AIDS. Out of frustration, they choose to give everybody around because of somebody also would deliberately give them. And sometimes you look at this peer pressure. It's a lot of competition. You see your friend driving a car. You want to drive that car. You don't know where the friend got the money from. Sometimes children from poor home interact with those from rich homes. Their parents are financially viable. They could give them certain opportunities. You two also want to meet up. And this fashion stuff that we have all kinds of Brazilian hair, Peruvian hair, that refuse to wear Chadian hair, to refuse to wear Congolese hair, that refuse to wear Cameroonian hair, they want a Peruvian hair, Brazilian hair. You hear the cost of a hair, hair, human hair is 250,000. And girls, you will see them begin to measure their capacity on the kind of hair they do, the kind of shoes and the clothes they wear. So this pressure comes upon these young girls okay if it is so then i have to prove myself amongst my colleagues you see a young girl driving a formatic jeep you begin to wonder if at all she's the most beautiful that's not the beauty they start entering into all kinds of shady deals and all kinds of dirty places to draw these things are all product of of competition peer pressure and the fashionista stuff and because of that a place like the university is a place where there's a lot of competition girls come there you see a girl driving to the campus and then you make her your friend then you want to meet she lives, she lives in the best city yeah, yeah good mm. she lives in an apartment comfortably and then you are there you are struggling you want to meet up you see them the way they dress some kind of competition so with all these things put together girls now begin to look for means to see how they can be able to match up that's the reason for all of these things and when the devil sees an opportunity takes advantage over it when they see this yearning, this desperation, this strive to become something, it is easier for the devil to creep in and then come. Now look at how much somebody is spending. 90,000 francs to buy Kanyamata. To go and sex with a man that will give you a car for 15 million. 90,000 buying 15 million. That is a drama. Because that thing must have an effect at the end that that 15 million won't be able to solve it. The devil is a very smart person. And the foolishness is this. When sometimes we see the grandeur, the prestige, and the joy behind these things, we just fly into it and then get excited. Every of those things have their effects at the end. They have their consequences, no matter what you are enjoying right now. And one of the things I've also realized that when the charm expires in a man, the hatred he now has for you, it will triple the love he has ever had because the love was artificial. It was artificial love. You are trying to use demonic forces to, to exoteric mysticism to manipulate the faculty of a man to see you to be something else that you are not. The day he will come back to his senses, you are the first person that he will kill. And these are the things that contribute and push young girls to push, enter into all this rubbish. They say some of them is 30,000, some is 90,000, some is perfume, some is uh, uh, eye words, some, some uh, what do they call it, <laughs> beads on their waist. When they make love to you, you are not supposed to wear the bead when, when you are making love. When you are done, you wear the bead. And because, I mean, hush, <laughs> God. <laughs> this also goes to the men who cannot belt their trousers. Because we are here to kill those girls. Those girls will never have customers if some men are not vulnerable. You don't leave your wives in the house and keep jumping from one girl to another. You will not be a victim of such circumstances. Most men also should be warned. As a matter of fact, you, um, uh, uh, La Pirosa, you Shesha, you Truva, those of men who want to wear, who don't want to see skirt pass, you don't want to see skirt pass around you, you want to enter under every leg you see, you're going to be a victim of the challenges that are going outside, circulating around town now. The, 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 there's, there's some audio I listened to, the first day where a lady practically says that she sat on the table and... She sat with almost 16 men on the same table because any man that sees her sits down to talk to her and she decides who to take home. Which means that it's not, you may necessarily not chat her up, but because of what she carries, you're attracted. 
Mr. Leo, the truth is, I don't believe some of these stories. So <laughs> okay. I don't. I, I, I will really differ here. Okay. You see, we have, even as pastor, we have heard people, girls make confessions that we tell, okay, this is it. We have not delivered you. Do it. They cannot do it. Sometimes people exaggerate. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Sometimes these people, look, even all of us, they have different gifts. They're, they're, they're some, they're, it's just like how some people have the ability to hold, somebody can hold a program or a concert, many more people. Some people just have the ability to draw people. Hmm. I'm saying this because sometimes we, we can, let's not, we, we, we must also be very careful because I don't think, for me, personally, because if, if that's the case, it means, anybody, it means that this person, this person is, is trying to talk about something here that is, we, we, uh, that's, 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 that's the character that's making some, some, some people, some wives now are, are funny. Oh, you, cannot, you cannot also deny it because there are, there are restaurants where you find people standing on a long on line, a long line True. Ready, to, ready to clean their dishes, but not everybody will go there. We'll go there. there are people with stronger strong will never Good. go there. So, so coming to that, what I'm trying to say is this, and that's what, yes, that's what I wanted to learn. That yeah. even if the story is true, now I was just saying that personally I don't believe it. Maybe I don't believe it because of how strong my own spirit is. But have you heard of stories yes. where, where people queue up to, to eat in the Yes, place? no, we have seen so it. What's, have what's bringing it. people? Hmm? Yes, but now see the, see, the, see, see my point. Hmm. My point is this. Even if this is true, that is why in, one of, in my opening statement, I said a lot of times people need to build themselves. A lot of times my belief system will work on you. Mm -hmm. Once you don't have a belief system, and that's the reason why we tell people. In fact, the whole issue we tell people tend to Christ, tend to this. We see, see Christians suffering from <laughs> from things. Thing, yeah. Why? Why? Because even P Paul says that if let anyone have faith to himself, you understand. I also believe that's the reason why I see some people stay in the village. Somebody will travel. One mama will go to a tree behind her house and um, tie one grass. See the picking commodity country. Not tell me. I they call you back. You reach somewhere. This is a real life story. You reach somewhere and you don't know what is happening. You're coming back. These things come from from strong, like I talk about incantations. Strong thing. You hear people say, "Oh, they do this. They draw." Sometimes these things build confidence, but more so, they are strong forces because life and death. Human, we have the tendency to conjure up a lot. There, there are a lot of there are a lot of incantations. There are a lot of things that can be conjured and be drawn, and that is why we are also calling forth people many people don't even have any system have you ever asked yourself somebody asked me one time i think the man of god is here somebody asked me why do some of these people with powerful healing ministries don't just get up enter hospitals and begin to wake up people like they usually do at their base one of the reasons that people fail to understand is that your very presence in my base i have authority over you mm -hmm. in fact that environment has something it does already it subdues you before that so a hospital is a place of power. Do you know the amount of hopelessness that is in the hospital? In fact, Katrin Kuma was so sensitive to who sits even in front while she's ministering. That tells you that you see even the spirit or the, the, the yeah. emanations from all of us are different. So truly, people have different responses to these things. And that's why the best way we can help people out there is that they should have a belief system personally personally i can say that uh, you can make that thing right in front of me i uh, <laughs> i challenge anybody you can cook it and i really eat it i will really eat it so well you'll be happy i will eat it i will prepare some good fish and meat i'll really eat it and i'll be so happy and i'll go away even and the three one if you like you put six in two if you like you put seven in 14 it can never work for me this is the truth this is my system that's how it is so but it is not everybody that can be i'm not saying it as a pastor but I think everybody must build a system. And this will come with what? Your love. Because you say even faith works by love. Your Man love. Yes. Man of God, let me cue you. Mm -hmm. Many men of God have fallen to just simple charm of women now. Yes. Even How much more of can, can you matter? Yeah. Added to it. <laughs> uh, we are saying this thing. No, so. see, see, I did not. We have stories, so true. Maybe we we'll do one story. No, no, no. One I did not challenge you know. Kayamata as a pastor. No, please. Uh, let me say this. No, let me say this because I know it's a disclaimer. No, this is a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. I am not challenging Kayamata as a pastor. No, the truth is, people have you not seen where somebody does self deliverance in their family, where no pastor prayed for them. They say somebody say no man ever married for, for the family, but I go marry. Somebody gets up. And becomes the deliverer. It's possible. What I'm saying is that then, God, you are a pastor. Yes. And you have said that it cannot work for you. 
uh, we know that there are, there are sisters who went for deliverance and they ended, ended up delivering the pastor. pastor. Yes. No, they're not Without being using <laughs> Kanyamata. <laughs> yes. No, that's what we're doing. Are, are, look, look, are. no, don't take every, don't take any man's, every man's indiscretion right now to be Kayamata. That's also what, that's another thing. For example, we've been talking here about indiscipline and weakness and everything. Mm -hmm. It's not all. That's why we also, like he has said, that people also are prone, especially people who are attracted. But you have also just said here that a woman is saying that people were just around. So are you saying that all that 16 men had, but uh, uh, they had weak, weakness and discipline problem? Are you, are you getting my point? I'm just trying to say this. They, what I like or not, some people, their spirit strong. Yeah, but what does that is not? Uh -huh. Even me will not work on me. Uh -huh. oh, why? So you see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now why are you saying? <laughs> um, but I'm for thing there. How can we? Because some people are living under this kind of yes. room. It's like drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> yeah, but how can we? How can we identify those who are already working under this spell? Oh, to note that this lady is operating in this realm because it's a realm now. It's a spiritual realm, not the godly spiritual realm, but there's a realm. How can we diagnose that the way this man is behaving, he could be, he could not be, or this woman? Miss Alo, that could be a very difficult one to, de to detect personally, okay. but through the testimonies. The counselor, now, stories have come to you. Yes, through the testimony, that's what I'm talking about, the testimonies and what we have seen happening and mm. when people come complaining. When you see... Like, A man suddenly leaves home and he is so comfortable in the laps of another woman and he is outgoing all the time. A man who usually will sit in the house, you the woman, you do all the necessary efforts to keep him comfortable, you do what, all what it takes as a woman mm -hmm. and then suddenly he, the narrative changes. He's outgoing, there is this particular woman, he goes, sometimes you need to start finding out there could be a problem. It could be a problem. It could it could not always be that there is a use of Kayamata. Mm. Or is Kayamata is ka, mm. yes, Kayamata. Kayamata. But um, actually uh, there could be other issues attached. Mm. The way this thing the dri the way this thing drives out, the way it's the, the strength it has, the way it drives people so strongly, is that kind this this girl, this audio where the girl was like I slept with this man in Limbe and he has not stopped calling my phone. Because at one point you discover that the man becomes so instable, mm -hmm. so unfocused, so un coordinated, like he cannot even hold himself. He's just so confused. It's 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 it can be because of the consequences of this Kayamata thing. Mm -hmm. And that's what is pulling him out. And sometimes I want to you just ask me a question, say what's wrong with you people? Mm -hmm. Men, maybe you you demand too much from the women now. Because when I see, uh, when married women, like some of the married women, you, you want to talk with them. They're like, my husband keeps complaining. No matter what I do, he keeps complaining. It's like, maybe you're expecting, you're demanding too much. Or maybe the men don't really take time to make the women to understand what they, they need when it comes to sex. To really explain themselves, please, let's go, go this way. If you cherish your marriage, if you cherish your wife, if you cherish your relationship and you want to stay longer, why not open up and let the woman know actually what you want? And where he, she should touch you for you to feel the goal. Uh, since you start running outside, she gets confused in the whole thing. She does not even know what entices you. She does not know what the problem is. And she gets confused. And then one little girl come and propose to her mom, please take this thing when you touch your husband. So she starts dying for real without even knowing that it's something that is bad. So probably men, men should, should, married men mm -hmm. should think and reconsider the way they, they relate with their wives. In this area of sex please if your wife if you are not comfortable talk speak communicate discuss it tell your wife i would love you to do it this way and i pray women to please open up if you your husband tells you this is how i want it to be open up and don't be shy about it <laughs> it is your husband for crying out loud Okay. Do not stay in the dark and then when he rushes out there, you start struggling and looking for means to bring him back. You only help kill yourself and you will kill that marriage because it will never, it will not last. That thing you're trying to use artificially. The beauty of a woman is from the heart. Mm -hmm. It's from the heart. God has naturally made a woman beautiful and if only she can understand it 
and allow that beauty to flow. When I read through the Proverbs 30, 31 woman, the characteristics that are highlighted, there is no way, there is no place where I saw her using something external, using some charm, some physical charm to entice her husband. Mm -hmm. What you hear is, this woman is hardworking. Go and read she Proverbs 31. With, if you want men to run from after verse you, 10, mm -hmm. from verse 10, mm -hmm. this woman, she, she, she's into craft work. She comes back, she sleeps when the family is asleep. She gets up very early in the morning to make food for her family. That's her charm. Mm -hmm. She, 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 she does not, she is not lazy. And above every other thing, she takes time to make herself beautiful um, for her well, husband. Well, so if only women can look at this, and verse 31 says what? A woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. There is a praise to every woman that fears the Lord. Rather than running around looking for what you want to use, that grass, that perfume, that chain, that belt, whatever, that's not what your husband saw before getting married to you. He saw something natural, and you just need to work and build up on that thing. And the Bible says the, a woman that fears the Lord, and the Bible still says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If only you can fear, when you fear the Lord, you pursue the word of, the, of God. The, the only work you have to do, eh, they say they're, they're looking for favor. And looking for men to love them the bible says submit mm -hmm. when you submit there's love that flows when you submit there is automatic love that comes do married women you have handled many cases uh, can all of us just look at it go in the talk of kanyamata i see myself it's only done by mm -hmm. these young girls have we not had stories where a woman is married and goes for that yes. to charm the man yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Women who are married equally do Kanyamata. Yeah. Why do they do it? Sometimes, so not that. Okay. Sometimes the brutality of a man, mm -hmm. the way a man malhandles them, mm -hmm. they will want to bring the man under control. Okay. So they will sometimes use some mystical powers to bring the man to a place whereby the man should be listening to them. The man should love them to the extent whereby he will not be bold enough to beat them or menace them. So women are pushed to that extent. I gave you the story of an Ethiopian woman whose husband maltreated her and she went to a hair alley to get a charm. Mm -hmm. This charm was to bring mm -hmm. a man to a place that the man would listen to her and then take instructions from her. But the Ethiopian, the, the hair alley asked her to bring the hair of a lion. So she went out, did what the lion wanted and then brought the hair and they said, that's the original charm. Go and do what you did to that lion to your husband and he will come down. Women don't understand that, like she was saying, that the real charm is your attitude. Because Kayamata is a replacement for character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kayamata is when you refuse to build character, you use something artificial, artificial to play the role of your character. If your character is actually deployed properly in marriage as a woman, you don't need any mystical incantations or charm to bring a man under control. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, men are tamed and brought under subjection through submission. As a matter of fact, submission is a seed that when you sow it in a man's life, he submits back to you. It's not just love, he submits back to you. And people don't get the understanding of what is submission. It's a, it's a broader charm. It's a stronger charm than any other charm, than any perfume or candles or incantations or enchantment. Once you give the man his place, submit to him, that charm is permanent. He sees no other woman than you. He may desire sex from outside. He may even go outside and have sex, but at the back of his subconsciousness, he will see a wife in you and see a sex partner outside. Now, sometimes we talk about this extra sexual desire. There is an illness in biology called nymphomania. And the person that suffers is called a nymphed. It's a sickness of uncontrollable sexual desire. When a woman has such a sexual desire, it's no longer a matter of kayamata anymore. She will sleep with everything in, in skirts. That's a sickness on its own. So when we talk about charm, this so-called thing they are using is something artificial, temporal, and it has dangerous consequences. The real charm of a woman is submission. That's the secret. Go around into every culture in the world. Once a woman gives a man's place, it's an automatic charm. Mm -hmm. You may not see anything good in a woman, but the man knows what he's seen. That's why you see real beauty is not based on the facial structure or the shape of a woman. It's the heart of the woman. What she gives back as submission is what brings every man under control. I told somebody that you can be a winner in marriage if you are a proposer. If, if, if you are if you are doing proposition you are not doing in position and in submission you propose a woman can rule a man when you see a man and a woman they say the woman don't charm me now they are living successfully 
because she knows what to give the man that makes the man doesn't want to hear from any other person. Yeah, yeah. What if it's a Kayamata also now? What? What if it's a Kayamata? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mr. Lu, I said it that we are very much aware of the existence of Kayamata. Mm -hmm. We are trying to differentiate that Kayamata is a replacement of bad attitude. Mm -hmm. Where you don't have attitude to give a man, you want to look for a substitute which is Kayamata. But the original Kayamata born in a woman is her attitude. If she gives the man the right attitude, she will not need any charm anywhere. If you see a poor woman living successfully in a marriage and they say the woman has control over the man know that they are living successfully because a man might have been given exactly what he needs in that marriage and bet you mr Liu, when a woman gives a man what the man needs that man will hear from that woman first before his mother Very correct. when a woman begins to contest the position of a man's mother in that man's life that woman has touched the man where the mother did not touch because the first wife of every man is the mother and there is a bond between a man and a mother that if a woman comes in between to separate them, that woman must have played a very stronger role. You know, a man submits to his mother and loves her. And a man cannot submit to his wife to love the wife. He respects the one who is above him and the one who submits to him. He doesn't respect the one that struggles to equate with him. That's what the secret is. I said, so why we have all this kind of artificial nonsense called Kayamata is just a matter of time. It will soon vanish into thin air. Yeah. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. For how long would that thing stay in your vagina? Without giving you cancer of the uterus? <laughs> <laughs> why is why the upsurge in its usage today? We there are two circulating audios, one in Douala yeah. where the girl is really itchy and say say I don't want to for Douala so they I go sleep here one night, it's your dash. When they give me something, my sister give me something, I just rub off my skin. So I go test them, they walk. That's why I get for going to meet up some person. Mm -hmm. I want to sleep here one night, so they give you plenty of money. Then we see what is happening in Boya, and yeah. also be here only. Why the upsurge? Uh, thank you, I, I like this question. Uh, as somebody who is, who is in Boya, mm -hmm. there, is, there is something that is happening. I've seen I always, even with my passion, my foundation deals a lot with a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. We have seen, like in the Munya community, I tell you the truth, by 15, 16, I guess already having two children in Munya. I see a lot of, in the university now, there was a time when people would leave Douala, I mean leave Boya to come and do prostitution in Douala. Now it has changed. People are leaving Douala to come and do things in Boya. You are asking, so many things have changed. It's so easy for a girl to be a prostitute mm. nowadays. Yes. So easy. That means it's first our upbringing. Subconsciously, a girl is brought up to depend on a man. And as long as these girls keep depending on men, and then they are also very, very lazy, you will discover that this must happen. Why? You will discover that because you will discover that if you see like we said this is always linked to sex and money mm -hmm. so subconsciously like like when they were, like, like when this thing came out there was a trend called the stingy men association mm -hmm. you see stingy men association came up and gave a proof what is that proof that women believe that sex their body should be in exchange of money how when stingy uh, men association came up something happened the lady said for that reason we will tie our legs you see that very statement tells you the subconscious reasoning the subconscious uh recognition that uh, of that link between sex and money and 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 the thing continues to to play and it goes on and on and on and on now look at what happens like in the like in the student uh environment uh peer pressure social media um, this person wants to live in this kind of apartment uh, this uh, girls don't want to date guys in fact it is it is a very uh, degrading things degrading thing now for a university girl to be dating a guy who doesn't have a car uh, no, no it's it, in fact, it's, it's a whole it's a whole thing now 
you see and this strong desire to meet up with this um social uh standards and this social pressure has made now such a desire because subconsciously also women believe that the only thing men want in this life is sex and that also tells us uh like the point that uh our sister is making it also gives us something we should really look into because it also makes us to understand that women should not take this the, the, the sex issue lying down at home i'm talking about even the married the, the married women I, I think i would like to talk about that in in in, 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 in an answer so the truth is the society has brought a lot of the and most of these girls okay imagine a girl is going to school and is thinking only about when i got graduated i got married look at it has revealed the desperation it's so desperate that girls leave boya come to Douala to hustle which kind of hustling you you get it a guy will call and many times and the truth is mr leo i've seen this guys can spend there are guys who used to shaft guys can enter a a a, 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 a shop yeah. and tell you pick anything you want you pick they can call you they drink for three hundred and sixty thousand, yeah. and you go by they give you five thousand for as transport so sometimes these girls who are coming and they believe that like when i was uh, in my conference i always say when you hear a girl after breakup say after all i have done for this guy 90 percent are talking about their bodies 90 percent are talking about sex you know you say after all i've done for this guy easy leave me so they're talking about sex really are they talking about the contribution they have made so when you hear again again i say thank god say that boy John goes thank god sir no sleep with you you see it tells you the mindset and this has also made guys to feel that having sex with a girl is victory and that has increased now this thing so you will see that girls now are struggling to be the no more victims because sex always look like they have been victimized so they are struggling no longer to be victims they are struggling to be in charge it is a desire of power and the truth is they are seeking this power to control receive this money okay. and build mm -hmm. and, and 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 show a life of show okay hello i'm Esson karen writing from boya town please what is kayamata I'm sure we're going to have a definition of that. Uh, Madam Henrietta and others like the two apostles are speaking the truth. Tako is writing from Bomenda. Uh, Mr. Liu, don't uh, frighten our man of God to change his strong belief. <laughs> no, man of God, I'm not struggling. Well, hello, good things to all of you. In the studio, it is good that they should show this man something. All that all they know is to go around using people's children mm. but when it is kayamata you will see how men will stay talking because they have seen that women now have their own small sense to show wow so mm. that kayamata is, a, is, a, is a vengeful tool it's a revenge now, tool yeah now mercy <laughs> writing there good evening mr leo i'm clovis texting from yonde please i hear you people only talking of kayamata i wish to ask if there is any cure to kayamata or it only expires on its own hi mr leo good evening to you guys i good evening to you too good evening mr leo life is spiritual kayamata can't work on all men if you have true fellowship and meditation in the god you believe in it can't work for you if you are not spiritual strong it will uh, have dominion over you Agbo tambe Firinu, writing from duala um we've just been joined by uh suli uh, Buba, uh, who, is, who works with uh, Elections Cameroon, but also very interested in uh, topics like this, and uh, we're glad to have you on Prime R for the very first time. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Liu. Uh, I'm so honored to be uh, one of uh, the panelists today. Mm, you will say back at the salary. <laughs> back, back at the salary to everybody. I know, I know you, came, you came a little bit late because you had to finish up with uh, celebrations out there but uh, many persons like you are saying are asking what is kayamata they don't understand where this is coming uh, from to you uh, from because we are we we understand that it has a muslim origin and something like that what is this all about yeah uh, actually that's why i insisted uh, not to miss this program because okay. uh, you know uh, there is a lot of uh, misconception and uh, misinformation mm -hmm. as far as this issue of uh, in quotes kayamata is concerned mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, Kayamata is from the Hausa language, mm -hmm. which means women stuff or women things. Mm -hmm. There are two words that are joined together. Kaya can be clothes, Kaya can be things, mm -hmm. and Mata is women. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So when you join it, you give uh, women stuff, Kaya Mata. And uh, this Kaya Mata actually does not end only at the level of this uh, West Beat mm -hmm. that I see today mm -hmm. uh, everywhere taking train on social media. Uh, Kaya Mata embodies nearly everything that a woman uses okay. to become beautiful, to attract her husband, to keep her home. Uh, Kaya Mata at the beginning was something that was purposely for couples, those who are married. Uh, in the Hausa tradition, before a woman or a girl is sent to her home, she's been prepared. Mm. She's been okay. prepared, you know, uh, they observe her beauty, all those things you used to know today, this lily, mm -hmm. you know, we mm -hmm. call it henna. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they draw it on her face, and then all those eyelashes stuff, all like that. And then her body texture also. Mm -hmm. Sometimes a girl is supposed to stay for at least maybe a week indoors, mm -hmm. just to get a good uh, body texture for mm -hmm. her husband, mm -hmm. uh, for the occasion to prepare for the occasion. So it also embodies uh, perfumes, even earrings, even uh, necklaces, all are, are, are you know, are inside Kaya Mata. Mm -hmm. You understand? But uh, today, if we come back to give meaning to what people really understand as Kaya Mata, we'll talk purposely on the West Beat, okay. which today is what is being used out there. Uh, there is uh, why I say that there is a lot of uh, misinformation uh, or misinterpretation of West Beat. West Beat is an old ancient tradition known in Africa. I believe there is none of us here who have who does not know uh, or have never seen a woman put on West Beat. It's part of the black people. It's part of our cultural her heritage. Mm. That's why today you see uh, African Americans, they identify themselves culturally by using those beads. They are the ones who have taken it to the West. And today in the West, they call it uh, uh, West Lines, they call it beadets and stuff like that, like in America, in Europe. But uh, originally, uh, if we have to situate it, you know, uh, locate it, we'll say that uh, Kaya Mata. Uh, is mostly used in the north. Mm -hmm. And this Kaya Mata, this West Beat, have different reasons and meanings why it is being used. Mm -hmm. but, but, but do you also understand now that these are ornaments that are, because when I get to, these are things that are supposed to be used by yeah, a woman to make, make herself beautiful, beautiful especially actually. for the husband. Yeah, actually. Do you now understand that there are people who have gotten into this and are now using it for devilish um, tendencies? That is, you are, I don't know, they, they use, they do juju Fetish. on it. I yes. understand. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I understand your point. And then yeah. they give it a wrong... Um, <laughs> yeah, then, uh, that's why I'm coming gradually. Yes, no, you understand? <laughs> Yes, yeah. be brief because yeah. others, others no problem. Yeah. Uh, Kaya Mata actually, you know, it has different, it has different uh, uh, rules in the life of uh, the woman okay. who puts it on. You understand? In other societies, they use those beads, those waistband, to control weight. When she's fat, the beat come up, and when she's slim, it goes down to her hips. You understand? And then. The, 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 you know, the selection of the, 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 the beat, it depends on the purpose, okay. why the person is using it. There are some people who use things like gems, you know, these uh, uh, stones, mm -hmm. uh, you know, which have uh, some powers in certain traditions, like this chakra, if you have ever heard about mm -hmm. chakra, voila. So you have those stones, like uh, and then those stones they have different uh different uh this thing um functions, functions. Like you see like brown you will see the brown you will see uh, if you use a brown stone here you have uh, excuse me please uh, if you use uh, a red a green stand for abundance fertility nature and prosperity red confidence and vitality turquoise you have communication and self-awareness white light truth
purity, light, truth, yep, yep, and purity, yep, yep. yellow, yep. energy, and this, joy, and happiness. Yep. So those are the things. Mm. The post, the post, uh, and then sometimes in other uh, uh, traditions, mm. women use it to announce their fertility, to announce that they have already crossed into womanhood. Mm. Okay. No. So it is a very uh, vast topic. To it's a very vast topic yes, to that is uh, supposed to operate the way you are saying it for mm -hmm. a particular community, yeah. which is not exploited uh, for other uh, objectives, Apostle Ambi. Yeah, I'll we'll come to that too. Yes. You know, like I always say, there are a lot of things that have been abnormally used. Probably mm -hmm. the Aousas did that thing as a custom in their own place mm -hmm. for different purposes. Somebody can take what is good and abnormally use it. Mm -hmm. Now it is being used abnormally as a means to fetch men, to entice men, to hypnotize men, and to seduce men. And they, they give it that name. They give it that name, Kaya Mata. <laughs> now it could be that the same elements used in Kaya Mata have been used, but this time around, enchantment and incantations have been done on this one. That empowers it to carry out its own purpose. That is to say, Kaya Mata is a description of the substance, but the spirit behind it is different. Mm -hmm. Now, what is being used now to entrap men is what is the spirit behind it, not the substance by themselves. They will say the beads are used for this color, for the waist. Now they have added perfumes, they have added other things inside, which definitely is not what the houses are using for that purpose. They may be using it as a customary practice. But somebody takes it, like I said, Indian hemp itself is not bad. It's a medicinal plant. But somebody has taken it to shoot it in his system as drug. He has abnormally used it. Cocaine is being used as an anesthesia in the hospital for oppression. But somebody takes it and shoot in his system as drug is abnormally using the thing so karamata could be an hausa thing that has been used for years in dressing or beautifying ladies but somebody has taken that same thing do some incantations behind it since besides it's first of all for women they do incantation behind it and then it has been used now wrongly to trap men now we want to say that the issue concerning charm is not strange the bible says when jehu went to confront jezebel she entered into her room and painted herself to seduce Jehu from the scriptures, which means charm is not something that is beginning this generation. If you say women are using eyelids, they are using perfume, they are using powder, all those things are the Jezebelitan spirits that is being used these last days through items. The items by themselves are not wrong. It's the enchantment and the incantations mm -hmm. done behind those items that gives it the power needed to accomplish the purpose. For instance, I can get a handkerchief and I pray over it. If I send it out, it can go and heal somebody. The handkerchief is not the healer, it's the power behind the handkerchief. So Kayamata is a victim of a last day spirit that has been used as an example for women to accomplish their purpose this last day. So we cannot deny the fact that the Kayamata itself could be a, an awuza kind of decoration of women, but this time around, Kayamata has been a victim of a demonic spirit used this day to trap men. So the name doesn't change. Because the items are kind of the items, but now the spirit behind it is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. Okay, the spirit behind it is where the problem is, and uh, we agree that the women who are using charms on their husband, of but course. most often uh, these men end up being destroyed. Huh? Yes, because, because the, the, the after effect of mm -hmm. every charm is always, always outrageous. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. The person who is doing the charm, and sometimes the person who is being charmed, we have seen men who a woman collected charm with the intention of bringing the man under control instead the effect of the charm killed the man. Mm -hmm. Some men have equally run mad after taking the supposedly presented charms to them. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it critically, the, the charms have their own different effects upon the lives of individuals. Somebody has brought a charm to give you to bring you under control, you eat the charm, you die. Some also have brought charms to give you. They fail the charm, then the charm now boomerangs upon them. They start acting crazy. We've seen ladies run the streets naked. Some have uh, started talking rubbish. Some have died because of those charms. Because the spirit behind it, you know, one of the things that is killing most people sometimes is that they don't, they don't understand the, the invocation of evil spirits in the kingdom of darkness. Darkness operates in a very cunning manner. You don't invoke a spirit in the afternoon. That is meant to come out in the night. Nice. This you are now making me go very spiritual, because that is that's that's my domain. Mm -hmm. You don't invoke a spirit in the afternoon. That is meant to come out in the night. If you operate or invoke a spirit at a wrong time, when it comes out, 
it will humble you that invoke him when you don't want to use him. Mm. That's the reason why every time somebody sends a charm, if the charm is going to kill somebody, if the charm does not fulfill the purpose, it must come upon you because why? Once that charm is released, it is out to accomplish a purpose. Either it gets your target. If it cannot get your target, it must get you because why? Once charms are invoked, they must accomplish something. Mm. So this kind of matter of a stuff is like, I will put it that the Hausa persons or the Hausa tribe, they are unfortunate that it is their thing that is being used this time around to carry something that is bad. Because I'm giving a matter a bad name. <laughs> but which is not bad, then, my brother. Yeah, uh, actually, <laughs> um, uh, that's why I am insisting that uh, we must bring out uh, a clear cut difference uh, between uh, this Kaya thing, Mata Kaya Mata and, and Cham. Cham okay because okay, charm can charm. be used yes it's not charm yes, charm can be initially. used on anything yes. charm can be used on anything you understand I, I, here in Duala, we used to say that you don't we don't want to eat the head of a fish because uh, there's maggie inside you understand what is that maggie that if you eat you will not go back when you get to a basa woman you are already forgotten you know so charm can be used on necklace Charm can be used even on dresses, even with on perfumes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, if today they have choose this kaya matter, this waist beads, and then now they put their charm upon it or they incantate. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then they say that this is the purpose. But what I know is that most of those women selling all those things that kaya matter and saying all those stuffs are out to find look for money. Okay, that's what I know. Okay, good evening, Mr. Leo and Mo, writing from uh, Yaoundé. Any love that is provoked by some products or instruments is not genuine. Women are so vulnerable, and that's why we are easily convinced into such things. Okay, uh, good evening, Mr. Liu, and my best uh, panelist, uh, Mr. Liu Cham, has uh, never and can never keep a relationship. Girls who are practicing Kayamata or whatever is called, are lazy girls uh, that are not patient enough to build a relationship. Mr. Liu, any relationship that has only paracetamol can never last, and when it's uh, backfired, you won't like yourself. Success is writing from Kribi. Uh, good evening, Mr. Liu and the wonderful panelists on board. It says crystal clear that the biblical signs of the end times are manifesting in our society. Kayamata today, to me, is not something new. It has just come to limelight, uh, perhaps because its consequences are manifesting here and there. I am uh, I am one person that I have always criticized those waist beads, leg chains, uh, many earrings, and those rings that women put on. Hundreds have condemned me that I'm being judgmental, but I have always seen it from a spiritual point of view. Ladies should be recognizant of the fact that all these evil uh, things always have a very powerful negative consequences. All that glitters not gold. To the men out uh, there we, who can't uh, keep their trousers zipped, you will put your penis in an evil V in Jesus' name. Okay, Prince Ndikum is writing from Sweden. Good evening yes. to you. Uh, Daisy writing from Kumba says, Good evening, Mr. Liu, and to all the panelists. Uh, this is Kayamata Mess. This Kayamata Mess is quite rampant these days. The devil has brought another one again. I thank God for nothing of the devil lasts forever and it's never without consequence. Uh, may God have mercy on us and uh, our husbands from every evil in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, um, good evening to you, Daisy from Apostle Alefo uh, or Divine. Um, he has raised, he has painted a clear picture of the real intention or the motives and uh, what Kayamata is all about. But how can we be too careful not to fall prey, especially when we know that bits are uh, ornaments that are, that are very nice? Yes. That some people may admire it. But how do you, how can you be so prudent not to fall um, the victim? Yes, um, it's a very good question, mm. and that's why. I, I I will always approach this topic from a place of love, not fear. Okay. When you see me saying, oh, this thing must not work on everybody, it's too, because I think this thing has really brought fear and panic, both into married ladies, and married, married ladies are panicking because they are no longer putting that work they used to put 
when they were still looking for money and they now have seen how desperate and how far people are willing to go yeah. and the truth is girls these days are no longer looking for a relationship they're looking for a profitable business and that's the reason why they are willing to invest 60,000 90,000 70,000 in fact you can sell them anything now in the name of Kayamata and they're gonna get it first I want to say this and I know it's gonna trouble a lot of people there is personally I don't see anything wrong with jewelry I don't care whether you're putting it on your leg I know some people will be like ah pastor what are you saying no there are traditions people have traditions that they wear whatever they want to wear and we cannot come and begin to claim you read even the bible they give they put people ring even on the nose and ears these are traditions of even the the people of mesopotamia and it's very common even among the the euro the the, the, the houses and all of these things so because if we're trying to make this thing i think this has made even just now scared of even wearing uh normal beats uh anklets and all of those things and i know some people whose religious standpoint against those things will be very uncomfortable i'm not here to judge and i don't want people to be very uncomfortable because the truth is like we have seen charms can be anything a charm can be an eyeglass they give you to wear a charm can be a gift a ring a i don't know a pen i think anything can be charmed a food we have seen some people said no one chop head fish to like i have heard but a girl told me when i was in my secondary school say i go give head fish a, the get told me straight so i go give head fish and, and that was true she brought it i ate it and she's nowhere to be found so forget that thing now but my point is this anything can be charmed and if we are not careful i cannot be living in fear that's the truth if that's the case then in fact there was a time somebody brought a video and said mesh is made in the, the is hair from a certain armpit and it went viral and it became publicity and some people swore that they will never wear i, I don't know madam for i don't know whether i always come from but now that, <laughs> now this was something now just imagine that and some people say they can bring those things and they charm you they can bring this i think people's personal faith needs to be developed you you see what you're saying some so muslims are not panicking because oh uh, houses per se let me not say most houses might not panic because, because maybe they know it i think we have to be more concerned about our personal build up our spiritual lives and I, i'm avoiding to use the word spiritual life because today people have different views of what spiritual life is so i want to call it your personal faith your standpoint i've said that my belief system will work on you if you don't have a belief system I, my belief system will be superimposed on you if a word the, the bible says that no weapon fashioned against shall prosper then the next part it says every tongue that rises against you shall condemn not somebody else shall condemn so you see words are arrows incantation are words anything these are arrows that come and it says but if it rises up you shall condemn how do you condemn there's something called a shield of faith the shield the bible describes faith as a shield but i don't want to be using all of this because it will be like another sermon so i want to talk to the average person there that if you are not having something you stand for a girl will pass and that person's spiritual investment whether it's on the waist in the vagina in the eye or in the ear even in the perfume will carry you and you find yourself in one place you don't know where the place is and before you, are, you realize you ask yourself because the effect of this thing is is you are just uncontrollable you don't know what is happening it is like somebody has taken all over you and you are no longer in your senses so i want to say that for us to recognize this thing that you we cannot call our listening point point a any girl will change point b any girl we are going to be judging and condemning okay but we have to tell people to be careful mm. with girls who are after money okay a relationship is not a business okay good evening mr liu and to all the panelists in the house uh, charm has been existing for every a very long time and today is known as kayamata i love the explanation of uh, mr suli he has spoken my mind because a friend who is muslim told me the same thing uh, some two years uh, to prepare their daughter's marriage and mr liu if you ask me uh, people are victims first because they love good out with ladies if you don't approach a lady you can't be caught by Kayamata Gaowa fashion is writing from Akumba good evening to you my friend Gaowa hope you're doing well greetings to you people at the studio I want to talk about this Kayamata your charm doesn't work to everybody because when you have self-control and you are deeply strong in God such things cannot work on you my name is uh, Pium Isaac I'm writing from Kumba town um 
dear panelists, I just want to tell fans uh, that the so-called Kayamata that lazy girls will think only of commercializing their bodies and with this the devil is ready to give them all what I will call shadows. 190,000 francs spent for it could start a small business. Only cheap and inexperienced men are victims. I don't even believe in things like uh, this. I swear to God, a woman's charm is the woman herself character. People who don't have strong faith in God are always victims. Pastors, pastor is right on the point. If a man of God falls into it, then he is not a man of God. We should know that you can be you can be hypnotized by certain surroundings and fall into a fit of imagination and fall into it. Okay, Pangwe is writing from uh, I don't know where she, he's writing from. But let's get the reaction from uh, Mr. Sanjay Vet. The second intervention from Bamenda. If you are a lady and you're using Kayamata, please hear me and hear me well. You lack self-confidence. You know that you are ugly. And the only thing that can help you attract and keep a man is, is, is charm. Why not have confidence in yourself? Why not believe in yourself? Do you need, any, do you need extra things to, to attract a man? No. Just your good character, your good character put in place is going to attract and keep a man forever. Beauty is vain. Charm is deceitful. It will not last. My sisters, it will not last. Nobody should fool you that you attract. Ask them what are the consequences of it before using it. So if you are using Kayamata, I tell you the truth, you lack self-confidence and you don't believe in yourself. Because if you believe in yourself, you attract a man and you will keep that man forever. With nothing. I mean just with your natural, genuine you. But if you are using Kayamata, I see two things. Lack of self, self-confidence and desperation. You are desperate. Why are you desperate? You think a man will not approach you and get you and keep you in, in, in his house? You can only use things from the forces of darkness. Let me tell you the truth. The devil knows how to get more people initiated. You cannot use devil's products and you don't become part of the devil. No way. So this is one way that the devil has used or is using to get more people initiated into the occultic realm. So if you're using Kayamata, my sister, you are gradually going. Before you know it, you start having some kind of bad dreams. I'm not a prophet, though. I'm not a prophetess. I'm talking. I'm talking my reality. You, you, God, the devil, will in, you will be initiated. You start having some kind of things, some kind of uh, uncommon things. Before you know it, you are already in one marine kingdom. And the unlucky man that will come to sleep with you also takes part of that evil. You hear that they, 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 they even call one of the bits a, a bit with an evil eye. And then some, they'll, they'll tell you that it has up to three, three evil eye bits. Evil. Can anything good come out from evil? My sister, some people should repent. Because the end result of this thing is not good. Like I told you, I've seen mad people on the way. Mad, young ladies getting mad. And these are some of the consequences. Why not attract a man genuinely? Anything that, any, anything that is genuine lasts. Why not, why not use your natural beauty that God has given you and attract a man and keep a man? Okay, uh, Mr. Sanji Yvette uh, coming in there from Omenda Ebwe Emmanuel um, says prime, the Prime uh, Fan Club of Tole are following bit by bit. Uh, he says, uh, Mr. Kum, please extend my greetings to all in the all in the panelists, especially to my President Apostle Ambi Valentine Ngoa. Uh, Ebwe Emmanuel, please extend our love and greetings to all of the fan club watching us from uh, from Tole. But now, we are talking about an, a search. Many persons, many young women, many young girls, even married persons are into it. Can we not also look at it from the perspective of a scare of not having a husband, the difficulty in having a man now, and the fear of losing a man that you're already married to? Why don't we also consider this? It's true. Yes, 
That is, you are married to a man. You are afraid that if I don't charm this man, he may go out there. Secondly, there are many women who may go for months without any man talking to them, and they get scared and depressed. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, uh, Mr. Leo, it boils down to what you are saying that there is lack of self confidence. Mm. An apostle said there are lazy women who want to replace character by an artificial <laughs> substance. Mm -hmm. You have a very poor character because what? Why don't you stay back and maintain your home? You want to look for an artificial something to maintain your husband in the house. It's only it, it's not long lasting. It stays for a very short time. Now, some women could be going after it because they are desperately in need of men. But for what we have been seeing these days, it's more of a commercial thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more commercialized. It's the, the reason dead, the reason the reason behind all when you listen to all the audios we have been receiving mm. you discover that the main reason for this thing is one they say to gain favor and all turns around money at the end of the day every the, the, the only thing they want is money and it boils down to the fact that they are only lazy women they are only lazy women who want to sit and everything comes to meet them uh, i think somebody mentioned something here that okay apostle divine is said uh, the culture or something a woman is grown to understand that she has to be dependent on man i i really want to differ on that because where this cameroon where we are uh, maybe some cultures but where i come from you as a girl you have to work and this our society today they keep there are ngos there are associations that go around and they treat they they, they educate women they educate very young girls that are coming up even married women they bring them out from their married house and teach them they call them to seminars and teach them how to to do something to keep themselves busy and get something for their for their for, for themselves the idea here if a woman goes for a champ for a, for, a, for a man is a woman who has refused to make herself useful to the society it's a woman who has refused to use the natural gifts and talents god has given her to be economically useful to this entire nation to, to this to the economy of this country it's a woman who is just lazy i want to see and everything comes meet her for the women who are married you talked of the, the married woman and the unmarried for a woman who is married that you are desperate thinking that your husband will go out that's the only way to keep him back woman you lie it's a very fat lie because it's going to be very short-lived at the end of the day what will happen when the repercussions come back you will not be able to take it because in most scenarios i will tell you a testimony something has happened to me in my family i have an uncle who was regularly charmed by the wife hmm. by the way we're still very small and we we didn't know anything he was regularly charmed by the wife, regularly charmed by the wife, and my uncle's all attention was towards the wife, <laughs> you know. And we, it came to a point where when we grew up, we discovered that our uncle turned out to hate that woman till he died. And he just, and that hatred was extended to every member of the family. But Paul Sambi said when the woman and man are there, it means that it's a sign of good living. It's not, it's not good. It, it depends now. Because it could it could be the natural one and the artificial one. I would tell you people the the, the lady champ here. At the end of the day, the, it, it's never hidden. They should say into the person who gave the champ leaked it out. He leaked it out, and it was known all through the community him. community, and everybody that's knew that that's what was happening. He was living under a spell, mm -hmm. and at the, at one mm -hmm. point the thing came over his head. He could not longer reason normally. He was now arrogant to everybody and especially that woman he would not want to see that man till my uncle died mm. they were never friends and to think again that this issue of charm i'll still give you another testimony that happened to i lost one of my brothers because of charm i love one i lost one of my brothers what happened the wife at one point became so insecure she felt that because my husband has gone for greener pastures pasture somewhere He's going to abandon me, and which was not even the case. She went and got charm from somebody, and those charms, they, there are always conditions that are attached to it. Like this Kayamata thing we are talking about. I read, I read some ways, I heard some ladies lecturing on, 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 on YouTube about it. They're like, there's, there are packages, the package for John is different from the package you have to use for James, is different from the package. Now, what if you bring all those packages and you use the one for John for James? And you mix up. And you mix up, you run mad because the, the the effect will definitely fall back on you what happened to my smile to, to my brother when when i that i lost it, she the wife went and took a charm put in her vagina 
to sleep with and she was deceived by a friend to think that when she will sleep with the husband the husband will never desire another woman mm. no matter where he goes to he will never desire another woman and what were the consequences the consequences were that if she uses it wrongly if she doesn't do what she had to do <coughs> there were great two things will happen she will run mad and the husband will die behold both things happened at one point we discovered that this girl God went mad. We don't know what happened. She just went mad and we were fighting. My brother was rushing up and down trying to find out what happened and blah, blah, blah. So he just fell sick. Nobody knew. Went to all sorts of hospitals finding out. And before, it is the friend who actually introduced this lady to this marabou that came back to our family to confess. I think, we don't, we don't know what happened. But she came up, but it was late. She confessed when we already lost our brother and when the wife already went mad. As I speak, both of them, both, both of them, uh, they are, they are, they are late. Mm. So there is never anything good that mm. will come out from this, from okay. this thing. The devil gives with the right hand and takes with the left hand. Okay. A woman's tribute to Miss Aliu comes mm. from inside out and not the other way around. Okay. Good evening, uh, panelists. Uh, special greetings to Sule Buba. Buba. Kayamata is uh, good, depending on how you use it. Okay. This is Kume Esamba, a brother watching from South Africa. Uh, hello, Mr. Leo. Good evening. I just want to remind the ladies that soon they will buy a common powder sold for 500 francs for 50,000 francs in the name of Kayamata. I'm Marvin, writing from mile 90 in Bomenda. Good evening, Mr. Leo Panlisa. The user of Kayamata and her victims are people without vision. Kayamata can only be used by a woman who has nothing to offer in the relationship because a woman who knows that uh, she is an asset and not a liability will not use such to keep her man given that uh, she knows her value to a man as for me i don't believe that uh, kayamata can work on me because of how strict i am in analyzing what a lady is made of jam carries a man into lust and not love and coin bless is writing from yaounde good evening mr leo between Mr. Liu and your panelists, are we at the end of time where it is very clear that the love for material things supersedes the love for God? Charming a man or a woman is not guaranteed that you will keep the charm partner for life. All items for the devil has an expiring date, and the consequences are very disastrous. Okay, uh, thanks. Matthew Summer Collins, writing from uh, Kumba. Good evening to you, Matt. Uh, good evening. Uh, encouraging them to get into the street and work for better um, their own good lucky you see let the ladies uh, work for themselves uh, Philemon Bale our colleague says uh, hello Liu let's stop promoting the person devil which doesn't exist the more we talk and give attention to these things uh, the more popular it becomes the notion of end time characteristics have always been there not just today so I find it unbelievable that we attribute recent bad happenings to the end time devil devil what is the devil who is he how is he or it can anyone quali qualify and qualify the devil where is the devil let's get arrest him there is a thing that doesn't and uh, has never existed it's just a book character which we have been magnifying over the time good evening to you Philemon Bale uh, dear Mr. Leonard I just missed uh, being knocked down by vehicles some minutes go in Simeon neighborhood because I was running from a lady who sells beets <laughs> along the roadside. Please, does these beets have anything to do with the famous Kayamata? Help me out. Greetings to all the resource persons on board. I'm Ashat Ashuta, writing from Yaoundé. I'm not sure. They need to need use the beats to work on it now. Spiritualize it before. That's the point. Not the case yeah. where I'm saying, look at some part of Africa, normal beats. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Liu and the entire panelist. Kayamata originated from the northern tribes of Nigeria and, and literally means uh, women things. Okay, Kayamata is used to refer to herbs or potions that act as sex or love enhancer, enhancers. Okay, I'm sure uh, Suli actually uh, talked on that already. Our brother, who is always um, watching from um, Halifax in Canada, writing it. Suli Buba. Yes. Uh, but you and I have known ourselves for some time, eh? Though it's, we, we've not seen ourselves for for decades now. Decades, actually. Yes, but sure. we've grown uh, to know about uh, Chamna. Yeah, These things actually. work. 
Mm -hmm. How do we control them? If you were to discover that you are under charm or <laughs> something like that, or how do we even prevent it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, you see, that's why... I we should not love so many women. Eh? <laughs> no, that's not even the main issue here. <laughs> you know, the, the main issue here is... Uh, that's why I really needed to make this intervention. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we are black people, we are Africans. Mm -hmm. And uh, not all of us are Christians, not all of mm -hmm. us are Muslims. Mm -hmm. We also have our cultures and traditions, mm -hmm. our customs. There are people who are traditionalists, mm -hmm. you understand? And then we believe that uh, to a traditionalist, he believes in his herbs and roots, the power in the herbs and roots. And most of this kaya matter sometimes are being uh, produced out of certain herbs which have power, spiritual power mm. or roots. Mm -hmm. You understand? And uh, what I want to say here is for people to know, you know, the intention behind everything you do in life matters. It is the intention that matters. If you have to pay a price, it depends on the intention. If you intended to use something to just to, you know, capture, exploit somebody, and then at the end of the day, maybe you don't have, you have, you, you do not have maybe a, a positive, uh, uh, you don't, you do not have a positive uh, intention mm -hmm. towards what you wanted to do, it will backfire on you. Uh, naturally, we evil. believe we believe human beings are there are spiritual attacks. Mm. There are natural things that we cannot escape from. Mm. That's why the Christian has to pray. The Muslim has to pray. Mm. We have what we call du'a. Mm. But there are attacks that come your way, which you cannot even explain. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes people suffer from a lot of things, and then they tend not to understand exactly where these things are coming from. It cannot, it must not necessarily be their making, mm -hmm. but then someone can be suffering from something that is affecting him mm -hmm. unknowingly. And then these people now come in to help. So the problem here is that today's world is being exposed to something and they are jumping into something they don't even have good knowledge of it. But for us, who have been using this thing, we have, who, have, who are living in this thing, we know, you know, the, 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 the measurement, we know <laughs> how to use it, how to, what to use, and, you know, in a way that it doesn't affect us. I get I get Yes, and I'm 100% I'm satisfied with, the, with my culture, mm -hmm. with my wow. people, with the, with the knowledge. Mm -hmm. wow. Yes, whatever. I have said that there is a difference between charm and kaya matter. Mm -hmm. So to me, kaya matter is not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. It's a charm. Not it's not a problem. It's not a charm. I say it, yeah, is it a can charm be a charm. A that I say and to us, mm -hmm. charm is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay. Yeah, charm is not necessarily a bad thing. If the intention because is good. If the, if the intention is good. Mm -hmm. Charm does not necessarily mean that, you know, we here, we have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. When you use something, that affects somebody or your partner, and then you don't you, you do not love him. How can you take something that you claim to love a man and then you go and take something that he will love you and then at the end of the day you know that he's going to die and you lose him? Does that make any sense? But if they, if you know for certain that this thing that you are using upon your husband will help to keep this your husband for you, and there will be no after effect. Why shouldn't you use it? I mean, you have must you have mastery of what you yes, using. Yes, why sh you shouldn't use it? You understand? You know, today people are just you know because of this globalization kind of a thing, people just you know, uh, you know juxtapose mix cultures and traditions. Mm -hmm. You just get into you just buy an Indian tradition. You don't even know how to go about it. You understand? And because you have just heard one positive thing about it, you just take it and you want to use it. And then tomorrow you don't know how to control it like for me a muslim i have there is a way of life you understand for instance uh for a muslim after sex there is what we go through which we uh, is referred to as a ritual bath which you make an intention to cleanse yourself to be able to stand before your lord 
You cannot pray until you go through that process. You understand? And uh, we believe that when you have sex and then you don't, you don't purify yourself, you are exposed to any attack. Mm -hmm. You understand? Okay, now, this thing, uh, a Muslim is using this thing and it does not affect him. You now, you come and take it. You understand? You, you go and use it, maybe have sex, and then you don't go through those due processes. You see, there are also people should be careful. They should know what they take. They should know what they use. Most of these bits, sometimes, which is being used as charm, purposely come with some perfume. Mm -hmm. It's not just a simple bit. If you look it on, even on, on, on that picture, you will see it. There is a perfume in the middle. It is that perfume that you use to, you know, uh, water that, uh, that are beast mm -hmm. when you want to meet your prey, when you want to attack. <laughs> you understand? It's not just that all the time that the beast is there, it can be used to, and then you can, you might likely charm your father <laughs> in the house. Yes. So it is something that is, it has its own way. Procedure. Procedure. Mm -hmm. Its own way okay. that is being controlled. When I get, get it, uh, Apostle and B, <laughs> it's like uh, they see that uh, these things come with lots of conditions. There are certain things, and many of our, because he is he is talking from the perspective of a Muslim who has grown in something, and now you are a clear, you are a Christian, you are a girl who just went to the University of Boya, and you are introduced to something which you will need to take five years to master the art, and maybe you are in a hurry to get a fat cash <laughs> in one week's time. And we can imagine the, the consequences. Uh, uh, if I can gather from what Basul has said, uh, the motive mm -hmm. is what makes it a crime. Mm -hmm. Yes. The motive. The kaya matter is the charm. The Muslim uses it as a custom not to make money. Mm -hmm. Our sisters <laughs> use it for merchandise. The one, the one that. <laughs> You see, yeah, exactly. so the motive behind the use of the thing is mm -hmm. what abuses the thing. Mm -hmm. Some people are using it for commercial purposes. Mm -hmm. Some others are using it as a custom and tradition in the circle of their to own. Enhance, to enhance love, yeah? Yes, in their own cycle. To enhance their love Number two, process. Mm -hmm. they are using it from a legally marriage point of view. They are using it to seduce sometimes married men and out of marriage. Which means it takes the whole thing out of context. A woman uses it for her husband. These girls are using it to trap people's husband. A woman uses it to enjoy sex with the husband. These ones are using it to hypnotize men to collect money from them. That tells you that one. <laughs> when I start making my hand like this, no, that uh, is trouble. <laughs> one, <laughs> one person has gotten knowledge of something, and he has a wrong motive for using it. My problem is how did the Hausa people get to a point of disclosing such a sacred ritual to outsiders? How did they get to a position where something that is sacred, like in the northwest, we have the Ngomba house. What is in Ngomba house? Ordinary people don't know. Don't know. What it's is in Queensford? People don't answer. know. There's it's globalization. globalization. Yes, there were those no, things that used no. to be co covered. Now it's not covered. It's no, globalization. I, this man, why are you asking for Vasuli? <laughs> when you say globalization, yes. why have, have Ngomba not entered globalization? No, it, it, the amenity is open now. What is open in Gomba? What is open in Quifo? <laughs> this thing, the truth is this. If they have, if this thing left the cycle of the Hausa persons to go outside, they are the ones who began to eat. Okay, let me answer you. There is no circle within the cycle of the people. And I look at the motive for which he went out. He went out for a business purpose. Mm. Which means they have started selling what is sacred, sacred. and what was meant for their matrimony to last. Why sometimes you look at the roadside, you see somebody borrow women, and they will stop you. Even the men, they will tell you they have a message for charm. They will give it to you. If they have not seen them, I've seen them. I've seen Bororo, they have stopped me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they even come to give you some liquid that you can make love for long. They stop you on the roadside, which means something that was sacred and kept as a custom, they also have commercialized. That means both the Hausa persons who have this thing as a sacred are also commercial agents. Of course. 
they have now sold it outside our sisters have taken that to a digital dimension which they are now making bigger money than the people who sold <laughs> it to them <laughs> so the thing that become pure business and once something that is sacred for a customary reason goes commercial it loses its potency and its essence mm -hmm. that's the reason why the real sense behind the kaya matter has been abused so kaya matter in the actual sense is a charm and the Muslims know, or the Hausas know, it's a charm, but it was used within the confines or the context of marriage. Of marriage. There's some people now have taken it and sold it outside. Our sister say, you people have something, you don't know what to use. This thing can bring you formatic jeep. This thing can bring you two-story building. This thing can be used to get you five million francs a night. You are carrying it to use to that Muslim brother in your house who will not give you anything. You not get sense. Now they package it and sell it for 60000 for 90,000. How, how did we get there? Okay. No. And you see, that's the problem. If you go to, I have my auntie who is selling all these things. She sells it for 500 francs. It's 500. <laughs> yes, it's 500. But yeah. I'm surprised to hear that it's being sold in other places for 90,000, 100,000. Okay. Okay. But they sell it for 500 francs. She sells to the general public or to this to the Muslim general public. lady. That That's no. why, let oh. me give you, let me answer this. My answer has two <laughs> angles. I'm coming, please. Don't be agitated. Just calm down, okay? Uh, my answer has two angles. You see, today, uh, my brother here has opted to give an answer for me, which he said that is uh, globalization. Yeah, global, glo globalization is uh, uh, one among it, and uh, you have again uh, this aspect of integration, living together. Yes. You understand? You see this cap I'm wearing. Everybody wears it, right? Mm -hmm. But when an outside man looks at me, he knows when I bend it like this to my right is to show that I'm a man. Oh. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, but how many people wear it? Everybody wears it now. This is very clear. Everybody wears it now. But it's actually from the Hausa people. So it is but normal. You can never confine something to only yourself, especially in these days that we live together with people. But the problem is that this hurst, you know, this overzealous quest has made people, they, they, they don't take their time to learn, to, to go through the instructions before they use something. When somebody wants to give you something, ask questions. Make sure that you understand him well before you take it. Yes, but you, we cannot say that no, the Hausa people were supposed to keep this thing for themselves. It is a good thing. And if today I have helped my friends when I see them in situations, you understand? I can know of a help. And maybe you are suffering from maybe a, a menstrual cramp. And I know just one simple help that I, I can give you, and it helps you. Why can I help you? Why can't I help you? And I'm living with you. If I if I allow you to die or something happens to you, I will be guilty. I will have that guilt upon us. So it's the same thing. You know, these problems, there is no difference between physical problems and emotional problems. Yes, a woman can be suffering, a girl can be suffering from emotional problem, and she has her friend, and her friend said, well, this is the only way, and this is my own way that I used to mm remedy my own situation <laughs> and then she helps her and it works because if it was not working uh, the, 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 it is not only in Cameroon it's just entering Cameroon but if you ask in Nigeria, Nigeria. everywhere Kayamata has gone if now like this just type on Google Kayamata you yes, see all right. every information from all angle coming it's because it, 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 it's work you know and uh, this Kayamata now I have said that it's very vast there are items that come from asia there are items that come from egypt uh indonesia because of globalization and are being used you see and uh, even this kankan we used to know when this uh i was at my saying his soya there will be pepper and there will be kankan to enhance men when men came when men men come to buy he will give you he will put you kankan so that you will feel strong. Okay, that's and, uh, for yes, I don't know for You don't know Kankan. I know now. <laughs> you have two color. You have two color of pepper there. Yeah, but I, I do not know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's just normal. Those are just like spices, like pepper. 
That's you understand? Talk about. But it has, uh, it has um, a booster. magical booster. Well, boosters. It has medical uh, uh, this thing. Yes. Uh, help. That's that's why I've I've said I've, I was saying something, mm -hmm. and I wanted to bring it down to the traditional way because mm -hmm. sometimes we think we have spiritualized the Everything. matter too much. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, why that's when it. I came, I defined aphrodisia. You see, yeah. white man has given very sophisticated names for things, mm -hmm. and sometimes when we cannot explain it, just like how some people believe that garlic is spiritual. Because mm -hmm. Gali was very medicinal. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things, there are a lot of herbs and roots that have a lot of properties that the the natural man or the natural uh, the natural African man spiritualized it. I define aphrodisiac here as a food or drug that arouses sexual instinct, mm -hmm. brings on desire, or increases sexual pleasure or performance. A myriad of drugs also do, do, do those things. I says it is for libido boosting. Like he has just said now, that thing that he was calling kang kang was spices. Mm -hmm. But now you did not know. You get it. I think that these people develop a culture where a woman pleases the man to the core. Mm -hmm. And I think they package the woman mm -hmm. to go and give the man something that uh, makes the man... They uh, came up with enhancers. Yes, mm -hmm. enhancers. Mm -hmm. And this was real. It was something cultural. And I think somehow many of our cultures have these things. But now, you know, white man always knows everything and package everything like drugs or tablets uh -huh. and i think these people well, have the packaged that normal. but now plus the well, globalization it's plus our desire for power like we have seen that in the this thing had been on the streets but people were not taking it serious these things have been existing you get it but now our mighty slave queens have stepped up the gear and like apostle said we have digital digitized the the, the whole thing and then they discover that do, because religion itself is a whole debate last time. I said, for example, I have counseled, uh, Mr. Lee, I have counseled uh, people who have been married for 13 years. And the woman says she does not know what orgasm is. This is real. This is real. That means I know of couples who have been married for 10 years. And the woman says she and the husband does not make love when the light is not off. You can imagine. That means they can. They don't feel comfortable bedding. And some of these things happen because when they were getting married, the sister was claiming to be very innocent voilà. and the man and now the woman has a lot of sexual fantasies but does not want to explore them because she doesn't want to look like a bad girl because bad sometimes girl. religion can create these kind of things exactly. so i think personally that and that's the reason why some of these men a woman touched because we have said this thing before even before kayamata came there were women outside who touched a man in a place the man sits in the other day just making, <laughs> and you wonder what is happening not exactly. he just sits after the three minutes <laughs> you are wondering what is happening something has been touched somewhere so i think this was been an enhancer and now it's making this man who might have the money a, because a man can do anything for a woman who can you know and all of those kind of things so i think it, it has now been turned by our slave queens who are very intentional smart. and smart and they are making targets and this thing doesn't matter even a disciplined man can be a target and if he enters and it becomes something that makes him crazy we can hear some kind of result so i think this is what is happening in kayamata good evening mr liu this kayamata stuff has come to put an end to cheating hmm. when men stick to your wives <laughs> women hold their mouths strong cheating has come to an end and the women should okay. sit up too okay uh in the yes. house this is Nene writing from Boya Poverty, Poor Living Standards High, that rate, lack of business ventures, and lack of capital is a reason for this Kaya matter, and not only it, but many others. Also, boys are excelling in scamming, and girls are also looking for where to excel in and collect money from those scammers. The government should help increase job opportunities, and government banks should give small loans for businesses. Nene, good evening to you. Um, <clears throat> Hello, uh, Mr. Liu, please tell Alaji that I need the Kayamata. I didn't know it can be cheap, like 500 francs. Zara is writing from Limbe. <laughs> Good evening to you, uh, Zara. Hello, sir. Uh, there is no justification to use charm on anyone for any reason. I heard there is a male Kayam, kayam Sam and a female Kayamata. Keeping a relationship uh, that is not genuine makes no sense, except... <laughs> Uh? <laughs> you want to say Kaya men things. <laughs> okay. Kaya women things. There's Kaya Maza, Kaya Mata. Kaya is those is those enhancers, those Kaya boosters. Kaya Mata, you don't have only the waist beat, you have sweeteners, you have tighteners. You understand? Wow. 
Yes, yes, that is so all you have, inside that. You are, you are an expert in this thing. Actually. Yes, I, have, I know these things, you know. And you say your, your aunt sells... Uh, yes, she sells all those things. There are sweeteners which makes a woman sweet to her husband. <laughs> and it's been, you know, sucked like there are some little, like, 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 no, like this. Where do they sell these things? They sell it all. They are there in Nausa Patana. Everywhere you go in Nausa Patana, you make it. There, has always been, there is no. It has always been there. Please, you don't focus too much on the spiritual side of it. These are natural things. They are aphrodisiacs. You know, they are boosters, enhancers. Those sweeteners, they are just like sweets. It's just the same like this tablet now, this Vi Viagra that people take now. But this one is female Viagra. And a woman uses it, she sucks it. And then before making, having, uh, uh, you know, uh, sex with the husband. You understand? Yes. And he tastes her, she's sweet. There are tightness too. When after a woman must have given birth, you know, and she feels that she's loose. And then she, there are certain herbs, there are certain roots she uses to tighten up herself, Sweet to look please. like a virgin. So these are normal things. We should not pretend. We know these things. A woman cannot just stay like that. Silly, please. Uh -huh. Yes. Are we pretending? Tightness, tightness. Mm -hmm. You know those things, yes. Mama. This is not the first time you are hearing. No, it's not the first time I'm hearing, to be very honest. We're going the natural way. We are talking about the... You have talked about the, 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 the cultural aspect. It's, it's a mm. thing from your culture. Yes. And we all have accepted. Mm. We are hearing to and we are getting to understand mm. that it's something that was meant for a good cause yes. and not for a destructive cause. That's I think but what we are trying to address here today, else we won't be here. It existed in the, in the past mm -hmm. and it was used. But now why is it that today it's, it's like, an uprising problem? There is something money. wrong somewhere. <laughs> Could it be that... Uh, the, the the white man or the, the, the fact that it has been sold out they have taken it used and put something else there is another spirit behind it that comes to make it There's dramatize it and make it more dangerous than it used to be yeah, because i think the intention is no longer the same mm -hmm. please you not tell me that a, a high a high school a Sunday school girl is is using it uh, uh to keep to keep which husband that she does not even have so why why do they set it out to these single ladies who are not married if the Mama, intention was to keep yes, matrimonial Mama, homes? Let me tell you something. Eh? It depends what you go after. If you go after charms, you will get charms. But if you go after enhancers, boosters, things you to make you beautiful, you will get them. You Maybe understand? Having the differences. Mm. So I am speaking from the standpoint of what I know. Thank that you. there is no effect. I'm not looking at it in that spiritual, you know, aspect okay. of it. Like, it does it have any spiritual implications? It doesn't. But spiritual implications, spiritual uh, implications can be added. Like when you say, when you take even this pen and incantate mm -hmm. upon it, it makes it becomes something different. You understand? If you take this pen, which is meant to write, then you add something upon it you know some kind of perfume that is coming from some mystical well, a mystical source and then they tell you that when you use this pen to write a nam you must pass you see it is a pen you are holding but it's different from the the, 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 the rest of the pens so that's the same thing okay because i don't want a situation where a woman can be attacked because she's putting on waist speed yes. or a woman can be attacked because they have seen her with certain things that is kaya matter they will say that oh this woman is using charm she's using fetish yes, things you understand let's idea. try to make bring out this difference please yes. yes the person who is after charm will get that charm and he will use it not on only on kaya matter he will use it even in fish he will use it in his husband food or his boyfriend or whatsoever okay uh, please so okay let's Please, Try to mm. bring out that clearly. Please, I'm Kelly uh, from Bermuda. I wish to know if this Kayamata stuff is only for ladies. Good evening. No, it's not only for ladies. Uh, going from the explanation he just gave, there's what they call Kayazam, something Kaya called Kayamaza. Kaya 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 for men. Okay. Good evening to you all. I'm not in support with the submissions. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. My question is. Does uh, the Kayamata have a spell on anyone, whether Muslim or otherwise? Uh, good evening uh, to good evening and greetings to all the panelists. Uh, the secret of charms is respect to all the men, especially your husband. So, lady, the best thing to give your husband or boyfriend total respect, try and you will regret. Uh, Abang Sylvester is writing from Tarikon in Bermenda. 
Good evening to you all. Um, <clears throat> good evening, Mr. Leo, and all in the studio. Okay, they are saying Mr. Sully, add volume. Okay, good evening to you all. Please, uh, can men also use Kayamata <laughs> to charm women? Parfum is writing from uh, Douala. Uh, good evening. This is Kenyatta in Kumba. All these new developments are an alarm to humanity that one can't rely on human wisdom. He who has not uh, Christ is so unprotected. Thanks. Okay. Hello, Mr. Liu. Uh, the problem with our young girls nowadays is just laziness and using charms to have and retain a man can never last forever. Uh, and men do you are all to be careful and mind um, the type of girls you mingle with. Um, any Onella writing from Yaoundé in Swa. Uh, this one says, uh, oops. To add to this, from Miss Declare writing from Yaoundé, good evening to you all in the studio. This Kayamata whole thing is a temporary existence. Say to say, I will advise ladies to use more of natural life principles for their relationship to work rather than rely on manipulative powers okay uh, miss declare apostle and be valentine while we have just five more minutes um uh -huh. this thing is real eh? it's real i'm sure um it is used from a different perspective it is abused because when we get the explanations from suli these are things that are sold for 500 francs in the quarters and people have been living with it but we have people who use it differently and the consequences are also very different because if um like we are saying if people have been using it in the community and people are not going mad people, it means that the purpose has been abused how what what is it that you should tell our young girls out there hmm. it's a little you are confused no i'm not confused okay if a girl can have sex with a man and ask for an expensive car that man buys something the man could not do when this girl had not taken this kayamata no not terms say kayamata and spice i deny on this platform vehemently that kayamata is no spice kayamata is an <laughs> incantation Kayamata is a spell that is used to hypnotize people to go beyond their control. Yeah. We have seen many people in many occasions act crazy only to come back to their senses to realize that what they did, they were somehow hypnotized. Kayamata could be something from the Hausa people. But this Kayamata we are talking here, mm -hmm. this particular Kayamata, the charm. The one we are talking here mm -hmm. is not the one that Babasule is talking. Yes. The one we are talking here is the one that is causing a lot of confusion right now. Many girls grow up to know things to use to, for their vagina to be tight. It's not some special thing known by other people. Most girls, they know it. It must not be, it must not be only those spices or those sweets you suck or <laughs> those herbs you take. Girls know other things that they can put in place for their vaginas to be sealed. Mm -hmm but i don't know the ceiling of this present day vagina that a man will enter into it and doesn't want to come out <laughs> and he says anything they ask you massa anything they ask you from range rover <laughs> to people's buildings <laughs> to their bank accounts are empty to give to a woman <laughs> you tell me it's bad <laughs> I leave that story, Master. Yeah, but well, this kind of matter we are talking here is a spell and a charm which is used by maybe they have given it the Muslim name, almost they are giving it the Hausa name. But the one we are talking here has some spiritual power behind because the girls who were testifying they said you do some incantations, they said it that you mm -hmm. say some things, yeah. mm -hmm. and every so time people start prayer. saying things prayer. behind things. Is invocation of evil spirits to accompany those tokens. We call them tokens. So those girls will tell us the kind of people. Because we have spoken about the beads, the perfume. We have not spoken about the kind of prayer they are praying behind it. Mm -hmm. What are the things they do? Do you take that kind of matter and do some incantations before you use it? 
there's no prayer. But this is our sister, they own Kayamata. After they collect it, there is a prayer they pray with incense. I don't know if you burn incense with your own Kayamata for you to use it. Mm -hmm. So it's to tell us that we, we should not misinterpret the fact that Hausa have a name or something like Kayamata. Mm -hmm. This our sister own Kayamata has a question mark. Mm -hmm. And we are telling brothers who are walking who don't have the belt of truth on their waist. They have cut their own bed, thrown it somewhere else. When you enter a sister that has that Kayamata as incantation, they ask you your house, <laughs> your house, your car, your one account, you will empty it and give. So we are warning you, sisters, who are working with this Kayamata, and brothers who don't know how to tie your belt, be very careful. This Kayamata, we are concluding the show, there is a Kayamata outside that hypnotizes, seduces, and entraps human beings to wipe everything that concerns them it may have have it, must, it may have had a coincidence with the, with the Bahosa name because if you hear what they say here their own kaya matter is very very different from what we are explaining they don't do incantations behind it no, no, they don't no. burn incense no. behind it so what it kind of same like this thing that we are wearing when? you just buy so, it from 50 and then you put it, you put it. <laughs> and then <laughs> their own is 500 our sister's own is 90,000. You are using you do eh? certain things. Theirs is 500. Our sister's is 90,000. Okay. Uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Liu and panel. You did well to bring Mr. Sule to the plateau. Nice program. The womb, uh, one of us uh, is writing there. Good evening to you. Good evening, sir. I'm seeing what is going on on TV now. Please, sir, I will advise they stop the Kayamata issue in Boya because it's becoming something else. How do we stop it? We are just pleading that. Good evening, Mr. Liu. I'm texting from Makenene. My name is uh, Emeldin. Any girl who is using Kayamata is uh, useless and lazy girls because any hardworking girl would never think of using that on men to have uh, money. Um, good. D, Mr. Coombe, uh, charms cannot be used by any ugly girl. It is uh, and it works. No way. Obi is writing from uh, Kumba. Good evening to you, Obi, my brother. Good evening, sir. That uh, charm works only on rich people, but does not work on poor people. <laughs> Okay, good evening. Uh, on a serious note, sir, if this uh, Kayamata works, why don't they use it on people like Bill Gates, Dangote, directors, etc.? Can uh, can Malam tell us what the clash of Kayamata can do? That is, if two guys uses it on one man, how would it be? To avoid this Kayamata, I think everyone should be prayerful and be very disciplined. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Coombe. The program is interesting. Thanks. Keep up. Uh, Dr. Abbas writing from uh, Kumba. Wow, love the program, bros. Uh, hear you guys. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, Shama is writing from Limbe. Yes, um, yes, we should be very careful. Yes, uh, I want to say that we must be very careful. Anything can be empowered and used as a weapon. Yes. Anything. And when we start talking about incantations and spells, it can be aimed at anybody. That's why I want to talk about the shield of faith. You must have a shield. It is written as a man thinks, so is he. Rich people are often affected because a rich man has many fears. That's the truth. And fears open you up. Fear is faith in the negative. So I want to say this. What is your faith? As a man thinks, so is he. Like I said, you must have a belief system. Every tongue that rises, anything that rises against you, you say, you shall condemn. You have the responsibility to build a shield around you. Whether it's discipline, whether it's where you put your faith, having a connection, whatever I mentioned, is it prayer, whatever. We are saying that these things have been weaponized. There is something out there targeting individuals, targeting men, targeting families you have to be careful and to the ladies i want to say this that when you yourself at some point in time because everything is empowered by your belief when that belief begins to waver things must fail because yeah. even beauty will fail be careful because at the end of the day you will have consequences okay. you will suffer and at the end of the day you can never keep anything that was held by charm because okay. charm is deceitful Okay, my friend uh, stole his father's money, about 400,000 francs, uh, and gave to a girl. Please uh, let the government intervene in this case. Please, it's becoming uh, something else, okay? 
Malam Hamza from Old Town Bamenda. This he says that I sell the Kayamata as my business. I am out there to make my money so the guy cares about what he is doing with it, but I know it's a charm. Okay, uh, Malam Hamza, good evening to you. I don't know whether I can, you can call me Malam Hamza so that we can do an interview with you uh, tomorrow morning, please, if it's possible, if you don't mind. This one says, divorce cases are very rare amongst the Muslims faithfuls. Can this be as a result of Kayamata? Their women use, please, Mr. Suli, help us with an answer. Tita is writing from, um, is writing from Douala here. Uh, Derek song says, Mr. Suli is a man of the day, good program, but we must fear that Kayamata thing, okay? Uh, good evening, Mr. Leo. Please, I would like to have the Muslim man's number. Please, I have some questions for him. <laughs> I hope you don't want to buy Kayamata. Okay, dear family and friends, there is this concept. Okay, um, we should call our sisters now to refrain from this because what they do to a man, other ladies would do to their, their brothers, yeah? of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a very negative intention about the whole thing. I like the fact that Apostle Ambe has tried to has tried to strike a balance because mm -hmm. we are almost getting confused as to the kayamata of the Muslim religion, the Muslim faithfuls, what it is meant for, and the recently trading kayamata in the market that is making waves and destroying homes. Um, I want to talk to to ladies. You know, women, we are very vulnerable. That's the truth. We are very, very vulnerable. As um, it said, we are the weaker sex. This whole thing is its actually a disgrace and it's its a taboo to the women, to the womanhood, because it makes it it's an insult to women, such that um, it's hard for you, a woman, to stand somewhere to say, No, I am not part of it. You are a woman, at, and this thing is being patronized by women. It is evil, and it will not take you anywhere. A woman's charm is inside out and not the other way around. You build yourself from the inside. Try to be industrious. Look for something to do that can empower you. And you make yourself useful to the economy. Not, not that everything you do, there is a repercussion. And I want to tell I'm a Christian. I want to thank you to Ezekiel chapter 13, the warning that God gave to the women. The women that decided to, to use magic. And God said, I am against magic. Why not be a charm or whatever? I am against this charm. I'm against this magic that you are using. And I will come with, when I come, I am going to save the victims. The men might go free. But know that you, the women, you will not go free from the whole thing. God can decide to save the man because he's only a victim. Like he said in, in, in Ezekiel chapter 13, he said, he, he said, you drop those magics that you're using. I am not for them. I am against each and every of those magics you're using to entice men, to jump like birds from, from places to places, to, 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 to get them under your control and confuse them. When I come... I will save these victims. Okay. God might come and save the men, but mm. we, the women, we will be destroyed. Not that it is your life that is at stake. Mm. It is your posterity that is at stake. Okay. It is your family that is at stake. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. <laughs> Leonard, and all in the, uh, the, the panelists. Um, I just want to reason with Pastor Ambe that some of these situations are being provoked by hardship. Some of them go through in life. You people should also know that there are some men using penis enlargement cream to increase the size of the penis. And Maxel writing from Moliko, please, okay, you're asking me to read your message, uh, Freddy. Uh, wow, good evening, um, Oga Landlord from Boya. If this Kayamata can be used on top government officials who embezzle money and hide, <laughs> then it should be used so that money can circulate in the country. Okay, wow, love this program, bros, uh, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, this one says, God will expose them in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, what I want to say, uh, let men be careful for girls outside. Uh, good evening, men. Okay? Yes. All of us should be careful. Okay. Uh, Mr. Suli, hope you are not marketing the thing the more to potential buyers. Derek Wala is writing from... Uh, Chang, uh, greetings, Mr. Liu, and everyone in the studio. Thank you, Mr. Suli. This man has star. Haha. Okay. Uh, good evening, Mr. Kum. Uh, globalization is the quest for money. Look at uh, Odeshi today. 
look at what happens in Nigeria movies, look at some of the native doctors, how they live, some like president. So this kind of matter of a thing has been long existing. We just need to watch and pray. Timbise Roland is writing from Adwala. Good evening to you all. Mr. Lou, I really enjoy your program. Keep it up. Uh, training, Kayamata evening. Chako, writing from Suwa in Yaoundé. Uh, Mr. Sule, we want to say thank you for coming. Uh, uh, thank you very much, too. I'm really honored. Okay. It's a privilege to me to be okay. on this panel. We uh, want to thank all of you guys for coming and uh, to thank you, the tele viewers who took time off to watch the program. Especially you who took time off to send text messages. I have been following the debates on social media. They have been very, very heated. We say thank you to the production team. Eli is uh, working while you guys are resting as a uh, public holiday. And to you, Desmond and the guys at the broadcasting, we say thank you. And we say special uh, back at the Sala to all the Muslim community. Not forgetting you, Mr. Tambetabi Bryant and uh, the wife who are also celebrating not far from here. We hope we are going to be joining you as soon as possible. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.